moved here sometime in the 1950s? 1950. Yeah, I get in that story a minute. He gets through taking this picture here. He's taking. Is he just taking a picture or taking a film? No, no, he's doing a video. You're, oh, you're, you're, a video. you're, you're on camera. Oh, camera. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I was born in 1923 in, in, in Rowan County, and, uh -huh. and I uh, moved to Salisbury here in 1947 after the war. I was in World War II. Uh -huh. After World War II, I moved to come to join the Salisbury Fire Department in 1947. Really? 1947. Uh -huh. I served 38 years in Salisbury Fire Department, assistant chief. Uh -huh. So. Uh, what did, was that, you retired from the fire department? I retired department? from the fire department. In, uh -huh. 1984. I said. 1984, February 84, and uh, so, and I bought, I moved here in 19. I built this house in 1950 here. Oh, okay. And and you and your wife built this? Yeah, 1950. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, when did you get married? We got in in 1946. Uh huh. We got in 1946, and and we moved here in 1950, and. Uh, We've been here ever since. Yeah, since, uh, uh, sixty so, some years. You know, we've been here. Well, that that that's a good while. Now, now, when you built this house and moved here, was the the trolley still running up? Yes, the uh, trolley was uh, running. Uh, yeah, we had to, the the uh, uh, trolley was going it on uh, Mitchell Avenue. Uh huh. It came down Mitchell Avenue to the end of Stanley. Stopped uh -huh. at Stanley. And it to throw the rod back the other way, and it's electric, you know. Yeah. And it went back up to Fulton, up to Harrison, over to Maine, and went out Main Street through Spencer to Fourth Street. Went down Spencer Street, uh, Spencer, uh, Fourth Street at Spencer, uh -huh. to Bowlin Avenue, and turn around, and come back to uh, through Salisbury. And back down here at the, yeah. the end of Mitchell. Yeah. But were you able to take that driving to work? No, after uh, after no after that uh, we went to buses. You know, Duke Power owned all that stuff. Uh -huh. The Duke Power garage was out on North Main Street. Mm -hmm. That's where uh, that's where the buses were. And so the, they got the idea was tired of dodge, uh, dodging trains, so they would put buses in uh -huh. so they could dodge traffic. You know, so uh -huh. Duke Power went on to to uh, went buses in. Uh, oh. Streetcar buses, so you know, let, yeah. uh, motorized. R r r right, r yeah. right. Well, See. so so when you built this house, how many other houses were around here on High Lake? Very few. This the this one was built, and maybe that not the, one up on the corner there uh, used to be the president of uh, Nazareth, uh, Mr. Larley. He was the uh, president of Nazareth Art. Northridge Orphanage home. Uh-huh. Uh, is, uh, so you see, this was a railroad town. Yeah. And, uh, if you didn't work for the railroad to do power, you didn't, you wouldn't, uh, in, so to speak. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, so, uh, Spencer Shops was a big thing at that time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that, that was built in, what, 1906 or 8, yeah. something like yeah. that. And yeah, and all the car, cars come through here to rebuild them in model of trains and yeah. we had a transfer shed where all the uh, uh, trucks were unloaded and unloaded. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so, so a, a good number of these houses were then built after you built this yes. house? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about that brick one over there? Was that it, one It there? was built uh, about the same time really. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, Wallace built that one uh, around 19... Oh, that about 1950. That when it got. That's my daughter standing in behind me there. Uh, I wasn't born in 1950. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Hello, daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, 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 so how many kids were here? Obviously, you've got a daughter. You know, and, uh, how many children do you have? But well, two, two, two girls and a boy. Uh huh. Three, three children. So uh, uh, we was raised. They was raised right here. Uh -oh. All of them born here. Uh huh. And, were there a lot of kids on, on these couple of blocks? It we used to be lots of children here. Yeah, we still got a good, good bunch here. Yeah, yeah there, there's some. You know, there, there's yeah. some across the street here, yeah, I they, know. they got problems over there. But they, we had, yeah. you, the sprinkler used to work up here. They, they'd hook up to the hydrant to the sprinkler, have sprinklers. 
children in the summer. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, open the hydrant and, and, and yeah. let, let, let it spray and let yeah. the kids? Yeah, the city would do that. Open, uh -huh. open the oh, oh, the city did that? Oh, yeah. You know, I, I, I was in Chicago in, in the early 70s, and, and you weren't supposed to do that, but there was always somebody on each block you know, that had a big wrench. Yeah, you had to have the wrench, yeah. It, right, right, yeah. right. So that, then they'd so you got out. to be careful when you open the hydrants how to close them and open them. You oh, oh, yeah. Don't you hammer lock them. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. right. Well, well you, you, you ought to know it was a fireman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very much so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, oh. Well, what was it like living here in Fulton Heights about that time? It was a pleasure. We had, it was a very good neighborhood. We had some very uh, prominent people lived over on Mitchell and Malvin and all. Uh -huh. In fact, that was the country club at, at the first time. You really? know, that was more like a country club, Fulton uh -huh. Heights was, before they went north with the uh, country club and built a golf course on the north end. You know? uh -huh. But yeah. this was a, a, a very prominent section, and good people live. I mean, big people lived here, like Glenn Kettner and all them people, you know. Uh -huh. uh, I can show you the houses over on Malpin Avenue where a lot of them live, you know. R R right, yeah. R right. Well, well but right over here, Kitty Corner, well, across the street from uh, uh, where Ryan lives, the mm -hmm. Goodman of the lumber yard. Yeah, right there. yeah, he owns all over lumber company and Goodman Lumber Company, yeah, Reed Goodman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and there were a good number, you know, as you yeah, say, yeah. Kentner's and, yeah. and Kennerly's and, and Freeman's and uh, Freeman Insurance and uh, this, this, this numbers of people, mm -hmm. Roger Fisher, um, uh, service station. Mm -hmm. Well, what, what about just sort of ordinary folks like firemen? Or did, did, were there a number of uh, firemen, policemen? and? Well, uh, we had, when I went to work here in 19, we had 24 firemen. See, uh -huh. Salbury had 16,000 people in 1946, uh, 47, uh -huh. got about 16,000. Now we got a 35,000, you know, yeah. 35,000. We had 24 firemen then, and, and all of them, you had to live in the, uh, inside the city limits. Uh -huh. If you did you couldn't live outside the city. You, mm -hmm. you, if you worked for the city, you worked for the, you lived in the you city. You lived in the city, right. Yeah. And all of them had, uh, uh, we had bells in our homes. Uh, uh, the wires were stretched on the streets, 100 mile of uh, wire, uh, control all the gongs in the houses. When oh, a, really? We had a horn on top of the fire station. When uh -huh. that horn would blow, it signal where the, the box location was for that mm -hmm. fire, and we had to enter that fire. Uh -huh. But 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 you actually had a, a separate wire coming into your house, In my and house. Not, not the telephone or electric. It was a separate wire. So this is a private wire. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, we had private wire. We had a hundred mile of wire spreading over the city, uh -huh. uh, uh, controlling all these. We had a hundred fire boxes on the streets. You know, mm -hmm. uh, that before radio come about. R right. But, uh, right. Right. And and then you would actually. It would, Connect to your house too. Yeah, and, and, I got gongs uh, in my house here, and it'd ring out a number like forty-seven. Uh huh. And then we had to, uh, if you had your car, jump your car, and go enter that box forty-seven uh -huh. yeah. where it's located at. Mm -hmm. uh, I forgot my number on this street, but anyway, uh, uh, and you had to answer those calls because uh, wasn't no man on duty, to, you know, to answer those calls. So uh, we had to get the car. And, Get out there. Well, were, were there some firemen that stayed at the station all the time, too, so that they they yeah, bring the truck we, out? Yeah, they had a minimum meter? crew, yeah. Mm -hmm. But back then, uh, we had a lot of volunteers. Uh huh. And Duke Pirate, you see, Buck Steam Plant was kind of a control. They looked after Salisbury for, I tell you, Buck Steam Plant Electric uh -huh. Company. Uh huh. And those men, all the. Uh, the Duke Pirate employees, they hear the horn blow on top of the building mm -hmm. downtown on Lee Street. Yeah. Uh, they would come down off that pole where they were working and go enter that fire. To help uh -huh. us help with the fires. Yeah. Wow. Most of them were, uh, uh, and they got a dollar for every time they enter a fire. They get a dollar. <laughs> yeah. Everybody got a dollar. So that, that's what you, that was your pay. You know, for, for, for the volunteers. Yeah, for the volunteers. So they, they got a dollar, but you got a regular salary. So. Yeah, I made $160 a month. 
$160 a month I went to work for. Wow. That was in 1947. Uh, 47. 47. I made $160 a month, yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I bought bought this house with $160 a month. You yeah. Know, yeah. Raised my children. Well, how, how much did it, uh, did this house cost when you built it? $7,000. I see. So so if somebody buys it for $10,000, you've made a profit? Yeah, it's worth ten times that now. I know that. It is. Yeah, yeah, more than ten times. Yeah, more yeah. than ten times. Yeah, you know, nice we've added on to it, me and the children. We have added on to it four, four more rooms and all that. Uh -huh. you know. Yeah, well, I, I'd hope that you'd at least get a hundred fifteen or hundred twenty-five you know, out of it. Now. It'd be more like eighty-nine or hundred thousand. Yeah. Well, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah. But, but, but it's kind of interesting to see how those prices have changed yeah, over the yeah, years. Yeah, it's, it's like, you know, gasoline now, four dollars a gallon, and we're getting it five gallons for a dollar back then, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and I could save money in 1950, but now you can't even make a living, let alone you know, <laughs> save money, you know. Well, 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 160 a month wouldn't go very far today. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's one, one day salary now. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's amazing how things have changed. Mm -hmm. but, uh, uh, but it's uh, always the streets have been paved. It's, it's everything's been good. We've had sidewalks all these years. And, uh huh. So it's from, a real from, good, you know, from the time that you moved in, there were sidewalks. There. Oh yeah, we had sidewalks. Uh -huh. So sidewalks and a paved street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they yeah. paved it every year and kept it in good shape, but that don't happen no more. But anyway. Uh, they look after everything real well. Uh huh. You know, well, what's your best memory living here in this house? Well, the best memory is I, it, I've enjoyed life, so to speak. Yeah. I hadn't, mm -hmm. the, the, I hadn't regret paying taxes and all that stuff, so to speak. Mm -hmm. it, it's been a pleasure to live here. Uh, see, I've went through a lot of changes here. I had trees in the yard and all. Uh -huh. They died and we put out more. They died, you know, uh -huh. and, and, and different things. But I, uh, man, it's raising my family here. Mm -hmm. We had good schools here. Uh -huh. We had Solver High School. Wait, well, did the kids walk over to Wiley when it was a uh, yeah, great they school? Yeah, these kids, they, they went to Wiley School. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh, and Solber High School was called Borden High School then. Yeah. We had two high schools. Right. One on Poorall uh, Street, Price School, uh, Price for Blacks, Blacks, and yeah. this is a white school. Uh huh. Then now, when they all integrated, it's called Solber High School. Right, right. And they closed Wiley School and, and built more schools from different locations. Right, right. Right, right, right. And, and now, now Wiley School is where old people live. Yeah, they, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you see... You know, they, may, may, maybe someday if you get old enough, you could live there too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll soon be, I ain't, I'm 89, so yeah. I'm getting there. But anyway, uh, yeah. you see, there wasn't no buses or nothing. You had to walk. We had yeah. no, uh, there wasn't no bu buses in... If you live in the county, you could ride a bus. In the city, yeah. didn't have buses, wasn't right, available. Right, right, see, right. So, uh, lot. In later years, when they built Knox School, kids got away from Wiley School, went to junior high school. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of, I had to take them to Knox School. Uh -huh. They couldn't have no way to eat over, really. Right. With no, right. With no buses, really. Yeah. Uh, but they did put on buses later. Mm -hmm. So now you got buses in the city and in the county and everywhere, you know. Right. So when, when, when you moved here, you know, and, and, and you were able to, you know, build a house, what kind of a car were you driving? Oh, uh, driving the old Chevrolet. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I had to have. You know, one car served the whole family. You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, uh, yeah. So, so when I, when I was working, my wife would drive the children. You know. Uh -huh. and, you know. I work. We worked two shifts, day and night. I worked mm -hmm. one shift, one in daytime, one week at night. Uh -huh. So I working 104 hours a week.